soon. Like right now. Welcome to the second game. Um, last dance, band out the Jinx uh, champion, which uh, Zorkam played last game. I would say not to great effect in the early game, but I, she definitely did what she could uh, late game. When she didn't get singled out, she still kept doing uh, damage, and then she got a GA to make sure that she couldn't die. Um, that if she died in team fight, she could always come back and keep helping out. Um, oh, uh, Born to Wood actually banned Kindred, which is uh, for UB Lol Cup participants. It's not necessary because we have decided that Kindred will not be. Played, I think I heard from Matthew saying, and now my dog is trying to steal my cords. So I'll be. Ooh. Yeah, um, so I'm not sure how that works. Uh, I would need uh, Paul to uh, comment on that or something. Do I have Paul? So if I try, or maybe Powell would know. Uh, Stalker Shin picked Tristana like he did last game, he she did last game, uh, to great effect I would say. The only thing that was missing that I would say did not help her carry in the last team fight was that she didn't cut off any auto attacks. Two weeks ban, okay. Uh, when is two weeks up? I can't remember when Kindred was uh, released but yeah, maybe this week so there's another two weeks. On the other side, uh, Born to Wood picked uh, another Annie support, which seemed to work really well. They liked it, they don't have to change anything. But since Jinx was banned, they picked the Ash, which is my favorite AD carry. <laughs> because she has an initiate, and since I'm a very bloodthirsty type of player, uh, I like initiation. Shoot the biggest arrow in their face and then kill them unless I get killed that's also sad from uh, last dance we have some new picks um, Udyr for their jungler um, or maybe they switched roles because uh, Aeterna was the Katarina before and also Leona I'm just gonna check if Udyr has been played before one bans Udir. Bans Udir. One pick for Udir, and it's not this team. This was Oasis ID not set. So Udir has been played before, but not by this team. And um, yet again, Lock Rules uh, is hovering over the Monkey King. Which he did last game, but he decided in the end not to go for it. He went for Jarvan instead. So might be some new picks incoming with the Shen. Shen top. Global pressure. Oh, 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 you're trolling me. Oh, he went for the Malphite. I wonder if he trolled too much and didn't get the Shen that he wanted. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, last time we actually had a Fizz ban from Last Dance, no, uh, Born to Wood, and they did decided not to ban it this time, and, and instead banned Kindred, otherwise I think it was the same bans as before, so Moon is actually, oh, I think that's also why they're switching their roles, maybe Moon plays mid lane when they get Fizz, and uh, since they didn't get fits last game, they decided to go with the Katarina Aeterna. I don't know how to pronounce that A, it has a weird thingy on the bottom. Aeterna? I'm just gonna say Aeterna. Um, 
Now it goes jungle. So we got Hecarim. That's also new. Oh man, so many new picks. Hecarim is found one out of six. Or maybe I'm lying. Hecarim, am I blind? No, Hecarim has actually been played before by multiple teams. I am a trash streamer. Um, yeah, but I think... Okay, I'm gonna stop that. I think we have some new picks as well with the... Uh, Wukong. He said and then he remembered that we actually played Wukong in one game. So... Let's um, look at synergy. Um, from the Born to Wood side, they went with a heavy engaged team, AoE, again. Um, when before they had a Flash any stun or a Nautilus hook or... Um... Wow, my memory is really bad. Well, they did have a lot of engage. Oh, the Jarvan engage, I mean. They went for another heavy, uh, heavy AOE CC comp, relying a lot on their um, LeBlanc and Ash to carry them in terms of damage. Wukong actually deals quite a lot of damage, but it falls off a bit. And if you look at Last Dance, they also have quite a strong engage comp. Uh, in Leona, with a really good backup from the Hecarim and Udyr just staying in the middle, wrecking havoc. Uh, but the main damage threats on uh, Last Dance is again... It's a two threat comp with the Fizz and Tristana. So, laning possibilities. I think that Hecarim will heavily outshove uh, Malphite mainly because of his sustain um, but what's good with Malphite is that he actually steals movement speed from Hecarim um, I'm not sure if it steals how whatever Hecarim has at one point or if it's actually um, a percentage uh, stealing movement speed, no, it doesn't say So, but I I predict that Hecarim will uh, handily get that lane in terms of uh, just champions matchups. Mid lane, I think it's very skill based. I think LeBlanc definitely has the edge uh, because she's ranged, but she should be very careful because the uh, if Fizz lands the fish on her, she can't. Um, the blinks won't dodge it. She will still have the fish. She would teleport with the fish with her to chum, chum the waters. Uh, but she picked again ignite for the lane. Uh, so she's definitely going to. I think. I think this is uh, a lane heavily favoring LeBlanc, especially with the ignite. But it's outplay if uh, Fizz can dodge al almost all of the damage with his uh, E, the trickster. Then he can definitely. Get uh, come out ahead. Bot lane matchups. Um, I would say this is actually in the favor of uh, Leona Tristana, mainly because Leona is so much tankier than an Annie. So whoever engages first um, could win. But since Leona is so tanky, if they engage on her instead of Tristana, then she will survive. While Annie, if they jump on Annie vice versa and it will die oh we have a project Leona mmm yum yum and again a lot of skins being showed here at the UBLOL cup oh actually she got the, the frame as well so that means she actually got the skin uh, during the first week and champion mastery is on uh, only on last hand side this game Um, jungle matchups though, I think uh, that Wukong 
is not as fast a clearer as Udyr, and I don't think he has... Uh, Udyr only has uh, a movement speed, but I think he actually adds a lot of lane pressure anyways, depending on how you play him. So I would say, in terms of early game, oops, early game, uh, the pressure and um, clear will definitely go in Udyr's favor. Except he started the bear form, which is uh, interesting. Oh, he actually went for the flash engage on Gokong. Oh, this is a really big one, level one fight. Oh, and Leon actually went for the flash uh, jump. Oh, are they gonna get the real one? Oh, actually, the kill went to face as well. Oh, this is a very close fight. It's two for two, no, three for two. There's, oh, that's a lot of summoners expended. Uh, okay, let's look, look down at the scoreboard. Huh, I did it, Powell, just too late. <laughs> And the scoreboard, Tristana got a kill and two assists. And a kill to top lane and a kill to support. Okay, so mid lane got nothing on the last dance side. Oh, actually, I forgot to do this. Yes, they're talking in chat. What are they saying? La même dans la rue de Man. And then Devant Carrel. No idea some friendly French uh, ban bantering, I don't know what, what you would call it, teasing each other in French, maybe they're both French, or understand French at least. Okay, oops, so in in mid lane Leblanc came back with another Doran's Ring, uh, which will make Viss's life very very difficult, so an, an already tilting lane matchup. Uh, is tilted even harder, uh, but instead on oh on bot side Ash went back for boots and Tristana went for um, oh really nice play by Fizz. This is what I mean by it's mostly a skill matchup, but I feel uh, yeah, damn, that was a really nice trickster. So Ash went for boots while Tristana went for another longsword, and Hecarim added uh, Doran's. Blade, I think, to his already um, sustainy top lane. So yeah, interesting start. The level one fights are real. This time around, Wukong is going for um, an early gank to add the pressure on bot lane, or he's doing an invade. Either way, he's trying to pull up the gank now. Let's see here, follow, yep, good camera. Yeah, this is very dangerous. Uh, oh, Tristan can jump away, she's just leaving Leona there without dealing any damage. And Ash got the kill, really nice gank uh, from uh, the Wukong lock rules. Oh, another engage by this? Oh, he's actually taking this fight to her. He has a lot of damage. Now, which one is the real one? He was walking towards the real one. Huh. I am terrible at this game. I predicted this very, very wrong. I did predict top lane being dominated in, in terms of CS at least. And Mafia is almost out of mana. And Hecarim is gaining a slight lead. And his lane is pushing against him, so it's good. There's still a lot of CS for him to pick up. Some poke from um, Leblanc. Uh, Leona just got level 3. So they are a bit behind in this lane. Thanks to that early gank. Wukong is now topside. Trying to pull off the uh, the gank. You can see him stealthily sneaking in. Ste stealing movement speed from Hecarim. But he's just a speedy horse running away. Now, while uh, Wukong is applying pressure, Udyr is just farming in the jungle, uh, getting as big as possible. Um, yeah, it seems that both mid laners. No, actually, Fizz has come back, uh, and he teleported. No, he actually walked back into lane as well. 
good job. Here you can see a top lane fight. It's so cool because nothing is happening. And uh, this is actually uh, he's keeping up in farm really well. Well done by him. Wukong is now sitting mid lane, ready to gank. But he's being spotted by a ward. Oh, this is very... Oh, this fist is going ham. The fist is going ham. But he does not have the ignite to kill him off with. So instead he just shoved out the monkey man. CS-wise, bot lane is doing really well. Fizz is actually getting ahead, uh, which I did not think was going to happen. Especially not with Ignite on LeBlanc. And he actually hit level 6 before LeBlanc, so he can actually apply a lot of pressure, especially if he goes... Yeah, here comes the Chum the Waters. He's going to try and go for the kill. He actually just went for the poke-ish. He didn't went for the all-in. LeBlanc has a lot of minions pushing her way. And Wukong is uh, closing in. Let's jump. To, no, he's not doing it. And Fizz is just going back. He has teleport, so he, if he's gonna use it back in lane, he might do that. No, he's actually walking again. Damn, good on him. Hecarim is going in for the kill on Malphite, and it looks like he actually got the kill. Wow. That was well played. Malphite stayed a bit too long with no health in lane. And Hecarim is not 2 0 oh, 2. Born to Wood are now looking to do the dragon, but there was a pink ward. I actually want to see what Udir is leveling up. Okay, so he's leveling Bear, Phoenix, and Turtle. Okay. Yeah, so he should definitely be a jungle clearing monster. And there's been another gank, at gank attempt on mid lane, but it's a fizz. It's slippery. The same way LeBlanc is very slippery to gank. Ooh, they engage. Uh, potential from Leona there with her zenith blade almost connecting oh that one health <laughs> Wukong almost got the blue so Wukong is pretty far behind in terms of uh, items um, Udyr already has his uh, ranger jungle ranger item but Wukong Wukong has decided not to go for any sort of jungle item. Uh, just got the machete and he's now going for... Oh, a side stone. Okay, so he's going for a more support... Uh, vision support type of build. Oh, this was... Uh, his missed his ultimate. So this could have turned really, really bad. Badly for him. Uh, LeBlanc wasted her ignite though and she did not get the kill. So that's a wasted ignite. Oh, but here comes Malphite. Oh, oops. Oh, he goes for the ultimate. Oh, he missed it. But he's gonna keep do going for the kill. He took a lot of damage. Udyr is coming in. Is he gonna get it? He has red buff. Yeah, he's gonna start dealing the damage at least. Oh, here comes... Oh, actually, this was very nice collapse from LeBlanc. <laughs> but too many skill shots missed. Um, the arrow missed. Oh, here comes Hecarim, actually. He's gonna go for the kill, but yet another time, <laughs> someone actually survived. Oh, this is some extraordinary fest. And this time it managed to actually no, <laughs> no kill this time either. Jesus, so much stuff expended and no kills. Tristana is uh, trying to kill the bot lane turret. I think the arrow was pretty good. Uh, I think it just unlucky. That he didn't hit his target. Oh, 
Oh, Leona is uh, deep warding, making sure she can keep track of uh, Wukong. I think she could have killed him there. She has ignite. Oh, they're actually forcing the dragon now when Wukong is really low on health. You can see LeBlanc going in around. Why can't I zoom out even more? Some of the waters actually hit the uh, um, Wukong clone. And uh, LeBlanc tries to go for the steal. But they got, uh, they got the kill on Wukong when he tried to also grab dragon. Oh, you can see, uh, yeah, so this is basically what you wanna try and do, get LeBlanc's jump and then trickster it, so you don't take any damage. You can see a uh, Malphite gank coming down, uh, but it's been spotted by a ward. Tristana went for... Yeah, she has backed and got BF Sword and Pickaxe. Uh, same for Ash. The only difference now between the two AD carries are boots on one side and longsword on the other. And uh, yet again, they tried to focus down mid lane, but they've both been spotted by wards. <laughs> Annie on one ward and Malphite on the other. Wukong is now going top to try and stop Hecarim from killing their turret. This is a very interesting uh, tactic. Oh, and it's gonna get caught out. Um, it's gonna be a kill though. Udyr went on Malphite, but this is pretty bad. He should die. Yep, there's a dead Udyr. Now we're gonna turn on Hecarim. But he Hecarim is pretty good in a 2v1 because of his heal. Now, what is Wukong gonna do? Is he gonna survive? He's gonna try and run away. Oh, he's gonna try and get the execute. Oh, he waited. He didn't wait enough. You have to wait 10 seconds from the uh, most recent damage. And he did not wait 10 seconds. Oh, advanced tactics right here. They're teleporting onto the minion so that it can't be killed by the turret. And they get a turret for it. So I would say that uh, could be called worth, I think. But then they have to make sure to play a bit more careful the next uh, five minutes for his TP to come back up. Uh, meanwhile, they took mid lane turret, uh, Tristana and Leona got the bottom turret. Uh, mid lane is more worth usually because it's not more worth in gold, but it's worth more in terms of um, control over the map. If you get mid, you open up quite a, lot, quite a bit of the map. And here you can see that Hecarim took down Malphite to half health and he didn't even lose at a fourth of his own. Oh, and he's getting caught out again, getting chummed the waters on. Oh, but this could be bad. This is 3v2. Let's see if they can get a kill. Fizz is trying to get away. Fizz is actually dying. So, mid lane for support, not the best trade. Uh, but I mean, you take what you can get. I'm not sure if they didn't see the. Uh, they didn't see the Wukong and all thought it was the Annie there. But yeah, LeBlanc is now 2-1 on her way to try and carry this game. Because right now uh, the goal difference is pretty big. Uh, oh, pretty big, it's uh, 2k. So it's reasonable within limits, uh, but here actually Hecarim is gonna get caught out again. Oh, he used his ultimate to get away. And now Wukong is dangerously close to dying. And he's killed. Ash comes in with an Ash uh, arrow. Ooh, actually this is... He took a kill back. And... Hecarim was there to pick up the kill. 
And now she's just gonna flash up. No, she's not because she doesn't have flash. So she's not doing anything. Mm. Yeah, Born to Wood has been playing a bit too aggressive, and now it feels like trying to get picks when they really can't. Uh, but I think it could be due to the frustration of getting those kills uh, before when all the flashes and stuff were expended. Oh, that's a ulti, a flash ulti from Leona, uh, which landed right on top of Ash. Uh, nice block from uh, the Fizz ultimate by Malphite, but but it just wasn't enough. So last dance are uh, really trying to run away with this game, but I mean that's sort of what happened last game as well. Uh, the gold difference started going to last dance, but then they did some weird rotations and uh, took some bad fights. But I think they're more comfortable on the champions they're playing now. So maybe maybe this time they won't. Uh, they won't get caught or uh, they won't take the bad fights because they know how strong they are with the more comfortable champions. Last dance I have gathered for the Drake. Um, Born to Wood was their first but they decided not to do uh, not to they, they couldn't make a trap. Hecarim is now going for um, Malphite which is not the greatest idea because he's pretty fat. Oh, and he's actually gonna... No, he's not gonna die. Oh, Mafia got the kill with the Q. Oh, here comes the engage. Pretty... Oh, they actually killed Tristana after getting caught by Ash Arrows. And Leona is going down next. Yep, this is... Uh, just what I was talking about. Uh, they start playing really well, and then they do some aggressive move which turns the whole uh, game back on its head and letting uh, Born to Wood come back into the game but that was well played by Born to Wood they caught uh, Hecarim being over aggressive and then when uh, they tried to save Hecarim they caught them with the Wukong ultimate and Ash Arrow which this time hit creating the whole chaotic team fight but gold lead is still in um, still in the favor of uh, last dance I wouldn't be too scared if I was last dance that this fight went that badly and they're now focusing down the tank which at this very moment is not that very tanky and Udyr might get caught out what he's running at another maybe he's baiting oh really good ultimate from Leona Fizz is on Ash, getting exhausted Hecarim is now running on Ash, killing her and he's now trying to zone out Leblanc uh, meanwhile uh, Last Dance shoved out um, Wukong from the team fight. so uh, 2 for 1 trade oh this is scary but oh actually uh, Leblanc got a kill onto Udyr but this is dangerous where is she gonna go? Oh! If uh, Tristana hasn't has hesitated and got another tick off the bomb, it might actually have been a kill. But yeah, another kill for LeBlanc because you over uh, because Udyr overstayed, tried to get the crug, uh, the crab. Mm hmm. And this time, um, Zorkam is not that far behind, which he was on Jinx. So this is actually pretty scary for Last Dance if they keep um, letting go of these advantages. Because Born to Woods 5's uh, team fight is really strong. They have shown that they can uh, prioritize correctly, and they've shown that they can uh, maneuver in the team fight so that they won't get uh, picked off. Or engaged upon at to begin with. They seem to be very good at reacting to what's going on. 
in the team fights. Right now, uh, you have uh, Born to Wood pushing top lane, and uh, Hecarim trying to defend it with backup. Fizz is also there, so it's actually a 3v3 if they decide to go on it. Leona's moving out. Fizz is just hiding in the wings. Oh, the flash single blade missed. Oh, here's another fight. They're gonna go for no. Oh, actually, they got the kill off of. Oh, here comes Tristana to make this a 4v3. She's gonna go straight for Tristana uh, for Ash, and she killed her. And then they got not fight straight afterwards. So that was good. Uh, really well, uh, well played. Nice roam by Tristana. <laughs> These games are all about who makes the uh, biggest mistakes right now. Who cannot keep their uh, champions in check? These roaming champions do whatever they please. Udur is defending valiantly the mid lane with his Phoenix stance. Look at it, so good this skin, it's, uh, it's the April Fool skin, um, so basically, oh, Hecarim getting caught out again, he's dealing quite a lot of damage to uh, Leblanc, but he had, she has any for support, and they did not get anything in return. So yeah, the Uder skin, uh, he basically turns into the animal that he picks, so you can see here, he's look like, he looks like a bear, uh, turns all brown. And here he has his phoenix stance, which is, uh, oh, well, a phoenix. I think it just looks awesome. It's one of the best skins in the game. Let's just look at it for a while, because it's so beautiful. Show the turtle. Show turtle. Look at him running. It looks so funny. Oh, let's do directed camera again, because now there might be another Drake. No, Drake fight is not in, in another one minute, 20 seconds. But they're trying. Oh, they got... Fizz and Tristana caught out, but since they can't see where they are, they are afraid to go on it. And this is a very brave Leona. Yeah. Maybe she was threatening. Oh, yeah, you saw the bit of, a bit of the tiger skin. Let's look at it. No. You see, he was a little bit of a tiger looking uh, fellow. That's his tiger stance. So cute. Hornetwood are now pushing down the mid lane, but yeah, they don't have a very good siege team, I would say. Not enough poke and not enough, uh, I don't know, turret pushing power with uh, without Ash. Oh, actually, ooh, that was a <laughs> nice, the timing was just correct on the Wukong back. It was nice of Malfi to steal some of Hecarim's uh, movement speed. Again, uh, I think uh, Malfi might be trying to bait something in. And Ash is in the wings. Oh, but now Born to Wood are trying to focus. Do the m mid lane siege. Item-wise, uh, LeBlanc is on her way to get the Rabadons, um, and she picked Chalice because it's a good defensive item, and also a highly uh, rated mana region item. Oh, looks like there might be a fight. Wukong is sort of engaged on his own, and then he's gonna walk with the bomb. Oh, Ash getting caught out, and instantly exploded by the Fizz. Malphite is holding down to his ultimate, and he got the kill. Oh, actually that's a three-man stun on the rest of their team. They can just get Fizz now, that would be good. Oh, they killed Udyr on the other side. It's two for two so far. Oh, actually Tristana yet again saved um, oh, the flashes. Oh, yeah, she died. That was uh, some uh, nice flashes by Udyr to try and catch LeBlanc. So forced her to run away or uh, die by the Udyr or the oh you see turtle turtle die by the Udyr or die by the Tristana basically by going back. Such a cute skin.
Oh dear, turtle rangers. So that's like basically every single thing in one turtle ranger. Alright, so the dragon went over to Last Dance after Ash got caught out by the fish. Who has a shark for a pet? There's a big discrepancy in farm in between, you can see here, the Wukong who has 7.5 and the Udyr who has 9.5 so there's a 2k difference between the two junglers which is normal it's an Udyr versus a versus a Wukong Udyr is definitely going to be able to farm more easily uh, but Wukong should bring the bigger teamfight presence with his ultimate if they just can get everything to connect perfectly then I think they can basically win any team fight. If Mafia can get the ultimate he did before on three people, but in the beginning of the fight, I think they uh, Born to Wood will win the team fights. And if Last Dance get the um, picks like Fist did on Ash, then they win the fight. Because team whites it's very hard to fight against this team with a Wukong and a Malphite ultimate. Oh, and the uh, Ash engage. Yeah, this should be a dead Tristana. You can see how hard their engage team uh, engage potential is. Um, but yeah, they blow, they blew everything to kill uh, Tristana. So that means they have nothing left to kill anyone else. And uh, unfortunately, LeBlanc walked on top of. Um, Walk on top of Ash with uh, uh, with the fish ultimate. Oh wow, no, I can't remember it. Fizz ultimate on top of her. That was not very nice of her. So yeah, very cool fight. Um, Hecarim's just staying mid, he's gonna be able to get that turret pretty fast because he is now has Trinity Force. And of course, Udyr is just chilling on another lane. But he should be dead, not even Udyr can escape an Ash because Ash has an innate slow. Or maybe he can, but it's very difficult. It seems like. Born to Wood are now moving towards Baron. And Last Dance are now. Not sure what he's doing. Oh, actually, he might get picked off by LeBlanc. Oh, Ash is getting caught by the fish again. Oh, wow, that was. That looked way too easy. But this could be very dangerous for LeBlanc. Is she gonna survive? Yes, she survived. And Fizz is trying to pull off the miraculous escape. And he does, thanks to the zone, yes, it looks like. Yeah. They couldn't catch him. Oh, that's a Leon ultimate wasted. Uh, but is it wasted though? Because that fool tricked Wukong into trying to engage maybe. Which is uh, pretty bad for Born to Wood right now. They can't get, they can't afford to get caught out like that. Especially not when Tristan is on the enemy tree pushing the lane. Oh, here comes the Ash Arrow. It hits nothing. Oh, sad. Look at it, it's such a sad arrow. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, Malphite is getting caught out. Trying to place a ward. Can he get out? He has blue buff. No, not blue buff. I'm lying. But he has the movement speed steal. And he's getting pretty tanky, but <laughs> again, you can you can see that Udyr is just off on the side lane pushing. This though is very dangerous for um, with a pick comp like this, having Udyr in a side lane when Baron is up is very very dangerous because how is he gonna join in without teleport? 
actually. That was a fist ultimate on one of their tankier members, which didn't work out so good. Uh, but now Hecarim is getting... Oh, actually, Uldir just went and killed Ash. Just ran. So yeah, this is, looks like to be a very good game for Last Dance. They did not drop the ball this time. Oh, LeBlanc got the kill on Hecarim. But yeah, she's too low to defend against four people. So I would say the way for Born to Wood to get into this game is wait for Udo to split push and go for the Baron and force them into a team fight. And then play it 4v5. Because this was sort of a four, could have been a 4v5. Because they also have so much pick potential. Uh, I mean, the Ash Arrow, the Wukong uh, Engage, the Malphite Engage. Yeah, this should be a Born to Wood uh, Dragon. But it's only their second dragon, so I'm pretty sure Last Dance are happy to give it up. And the gold lead is now 9k. Or 8.8. Ah, whatever. It's 9k ish. Yeah, this is gonna be a very interesting uh, late game game because um, yes yeah, you can see Udyr is definitely a very big split push threat so Born to Wood has to decide how to deal with it either force objectives or oh he's actually missed all of his stuff but it doesn't matter because he's Fizz so this is pretty bad like they should go as a team and ward up the Baron instead of just two people Because they did have wards before, so I'm not sure what they were doing there, waiting. And they don't have the Ash... Oh yeah, Ash ultimate is actually up. Oh, is... Oh yeah, LeBlanc. Tristana got the bomb on her, and that killed her in the end. Yeah, this is uh, looking like it's a last... Last dance game. The mistakes were not made this game. GG! And in the end, they got Udyr. Thanks to the fountain.